So folks, um, me and Amy are in Glasgow right now and I've just went and bought a car for £500. Um, there it is. <laughs> what an absolute beast. 2000 K11 Nissan Micra 1 metre, 16 valve. <laughs> so obviously as you can see it's pretty rough and ready um, but we've just picked it up and I've drove about half an hour down the road maybe and it's been perfect all the way look at that as well sunroof model it's actually a celebration with a blue interior and it's all about the badge on the back look at that but we're going to get this home hopefully and then we'll do a bit more in depth on it that's us just on the way back home from buying the car. Um, it's been fine the whole way on the motorway and all that. Um, ah, it's been been brilliant. So that is us just back home from getting the Micra. We've got the beautiful sunset in the background, look at that. Um, this is Amy's Micra Lloyd, he's pretty cool. Exact same colour and then there's mine. Absolute granny spec with the original wheel trims. It's got service history right up to 50,000 miles. And it's only done 62 just as we arrived back here sunroof model, celebration model, it's got the fancy green seats and all that but obviously there is my Fiesta Fergus there so we have to introduce them to each other so with the number plate on the Micra it's sort of got a wee SD so we're calling him Sid so Sid meet Fergus, Fergus this is Sid so now they can be pals and then the Micra's just got to meet the Escort now but I'm um, really happy with it, it's just a bit of fun, why not? But it's getting a bit dark now, so we'll be back in the morning and we'll do some more videos with it out on a drive. So it's the next day and I've brought the new Micra some beautiful back roads. Before we take it on a wee drive, let's have a look around the car. a quick wee look at the Micra, it's absolutely beautiful man, it's got the lacquer peel, stone chips, faded paint, oh it's lovely man. But here's some information about the car, so it's only done 62,000 miles and it literally hit 62,000 miles on the drive back from Glasgow, it was on 61,900 and odd or something, um, it's a celebration model so I think that means you get the fancy seats with the green pattern and all that, absolutely beautiful, also it's got a sunroof if you look up there, beautiful. So it's a sunroof model as well. Usually the sunroofs are a problem with the channels running down the front pillars, but this one seems pretty clean around there, which I'm really surprised about. It's also got full service history right up to 50,000 miles. Um, it was used as a learner car. Only thing that is a bit of a problem is that it runs out of MOT on the 29th of March, which isn't ideal. Really sad about that, but we can see if it goes through an MOT or do the work that it needs to get through another one. I literally drove it yesterday home from buying it and I've drove it this morning and it's so much fun. But while we're talking about driving, why don't we go and take it on one? Let's go. Right, let's get us started. on the road <laughs> now the car is just a little 998cc 1 litre engine um, 60 brake horsepower um, 0 to 60 in about 4 years um, but it's really smooth actually to be fair um, with a car of this age you'd usually expect it to be all rattly on the interior and that um, but it's really smooth I'm sitting at 40 miles per hour right now in 5th gear like not a rattle obviously the camera's rattling a wee bit but really smooth and we're on some like back roads you know what i mean it's brilliant man it's really smooth so far real happy with it and like i said the car's completely factory spec so watch this body roll <laughs> oh my god that's going down the hill as well but it's completely standard suspension man oh. 
go around this corner the now. Um, so we're sitting about 40, we'll go around this corner and watch the body roll. <laughs> Oh my god, man, this is so fun. Bye. Oh, what a bloody fun, man. Also one thing I've noticed as well is that the fuel is absolutely brilliant on this. It was just on the red mark of the fuel gauge when I bought it, so it didn't really have much fuel. Put £20 in it, that took me just over the halfway mark on the fuel gauge and it's only just on a quarter of a tank now, all the way back from Glasgow and driving it today as well. Can't go wrong. So we've just took another stop at this lovely wee bridge. Nice river flowing, beautiful views, but look at it man, shining in the sun. Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> wow, what an absolute beauty. <laughs> so I'm pulled over to the side of the road on this lovely big quiet straight road. Um, we're going to do a little zero to 60. I don't have any professional timing gear or that, but I'm going to say when I get to 60 and I'll time it when I'm editing the video. So let's do this. Road's a little bit wet and it's actually started spitting with rain right now, so here we go, 0 to 60. Second. 40. 50. <laughs> We're almost there. And 60, there we go, 60 mile an hour. That is us. So, Whatever the time is, I'll put it right there. That is the time we got for the 0 to 60. What an absolute beast. Right, I'm going to give it a second run. We're on that same road. Right, let's give it a second run. Here we go. I'll give it a bit more revs. Forty. That was quicker. I swear that was quicker. Fifty. Almost fifty-five. And. 60, there we go, I felt quicker that time, um, but there's the second time on the screen, I think that was quicker, but what a wee car man, absolutely brilliant, couldn't have peeled the skin off the custard. <laughs> oh. It's like through bumpy back roads, but even through these 30 streets, it's absolutely brilliant. It's really smooth. It sits at 30 miles an hour really nice, um, and it just it just plods along. So unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of this week's video. What a video, what a reveal, what a car. It's absolutely brilliant so far. I'm really enjoying it. I've got a smile on my face every time I've drove it so far. What I want you guys to do is if you've got any ideas for what we could do to this car, modify it, do anything with the paintwork or that, Put them in the comments below. I'm going to let you guys pretty much have free reign on this car. Put your ideas in the comments down below. But thank you very, very much for watching this video. It's bye from me and Sid. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.